announcing the reading challenges for the Winter Biannual Bibliothon 2016. This readathon is happening from January 3rd through January 9th, and we wanted to make sure we gave you guys plenty of time to start planning those TBRs. As always, we have seven reading challenges for each of the seven days of the week. And one of those reading challenges is, as always, to read the group book. The group book live show will be the Sunday after the Bibliothon ends on January 10th, and we will be announcing the time at a later date on Twitter, so make sure to follow us there. It's at B Bibliothon. Without further ado, here are the reading challenges. Challenge number one is to read the group book, obviously. The group book uh, that we have decided on is Soundless by Rochelle Mead. The last two bibliothons were contemporary, so we decided we would try and change it up a bit and get something different. So if you guys ever have recommendations for future bibliothons, please let us know because it took us forever to try and figure out a decent newer release for us to read together and discuss. So if you guys ever have any any suggestions, please let us know. So according to Goodreads, it is about a... There's been no sound in her village where rocky terrain and frequent avalanches prevent residents from self-sustaining. Faye and her people are at the mercy of a zip line that carries food up to the treacherous cliffs of Beguo or something. A mysterious faraway kingdom. When villagers begin to lose their sight, deliveries from the zipline shrink and many go hungry. Faye's home, the people she loves, and the entire existence is plunged into crisis under threat of darkness and starvation. But Faye is awoken in the night by a searing noise, and sound becomes her weapon. I think that sounds pretty decent, right? I mean... I, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of the description, but I think it sounds great, and I'm really excited to read it with you guys. So please, please join us for the live show, which is going to be on January 10th. It'll be the Sunday following the actual Bibliothon. Number two is to read a book that has been sitting on your shelf for over a year. Sometimes people go on book buying binges and forget about the old books that they have on their shelf that they haven't read yet. So we're giving you an opportunity to finally get to them. If you don't have any books that have been sitting on your shelf for a year, just pick the oldest book that that you bought and haven't read. The next reading challenge is read a book over 300 pages. I know, it sounds a little daunting, but in readathons we often tend to choose shorter books to get through as many books as possible during the readathon, and this time we wanted to choose quality over quantity. So now's the time to start dusting off those larger books on your shelf that you've been putting off for too long. Number four is read a book from your favorite genre. We're always about pushing the limits and trying to make you read things that you don't normally read. So this time we figured why not let you read a book that you know you're going to love. Whether it be the next book in a series or just a book that is coming out that you're super excited about, you're free to read whatever you want pretty much as long as it's in your favorite genre. The fifth reading challenge of the week is to reread your favorite book in a series. Now as I express pretty frequently on my channel with my seven rereads of the Mortal Instruments series and my somewhere in between 12 and 17 rereads of Harry Potter, I am a lover of rereads. I feel that rereading is a super important asset we have as readers and we need to embrace that more. So for this challenge, we are giving you complete freedom as to choosing what series you want to read and which book in that series, meaning you don't have to read the first book in the series. You can read absolutely any book. So if Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban is your favorite Harry Potter book, you can read that one. If you absolutely love Spirit Bound by Rochelle Mead, pick that one up this week. If you don't think this readathon will be complete without you reading Clockwork Princess, I say go for it. Just pick absolutely any of your favorite books from your favorite series and you enjoy the crap out of that book this week. Number six, judge a book by its cover. Read a book that you haven't yet read the synopsis of or that you can't remember the synopsis of. It could either be a book that you go out and buy or get from the library that you just pick up by judging a book by its cover or it can be sitting on your shelf that you don't quite remember the synopsis of this book and don't read it by picking it up. And for the next challenge is read a book that has been recommended to you more than once whether it's from a family member, a friend, Goodreads, YouTube, etc. As long as it's been recommended to you more than once, then you're good to go. So those are all of the reading challenges for this year's Winter Biennial Bibliothon. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below. Contact our Twitter at bbibliothon. Email us at biannualbibliothon at gmail.com. Or contact one of the hosts on their various social media accounts. So all the hosts are going to be uploading their own TBRs to their own channels. If you're interested in seeing what the hosts are going to be reading, make sure to go and subscribe to see them as soon as they're posted. All links will be in the description.
And if you want to upload your own TBR video, feel free to leave the link to your video in the comments down below so that we can check them out. Don't forget to mark your calendars for the Soundless Live show on January 10th following the actual biannual Bibliothon for our group book discussion and be sure to check our Twitter at Bibliothon when we later release the time. We are so looking forward to reading and booktubing with you all this January. Thank you so much for watching and participating and we cannot wait for this winter biannual Bibliothon. Bye!